Hi there, um, Marcus here from Forpos. Um, I just want to show you a video that I used for supporting a customer. It's one of our friends and customers that's been using Forpos for many, many years. And as you can see um, on the screen, um, the system, or they're busy physically doing sales in their business right now. And the system is obviously very, very quick. Um, a lot of the products are being scanned. I had a chat to the customer afterwards, uh, after recording this, and made some suggestions. So while we're watching the video and seeing how fast uh, the system is performing, obviously the time break between uh, the sales is the time that it's taking them uh, to pack the products. And that's obviously one of the things that the customer can do to improve the speed and efficiency and service to the customer is to get a separate packer to actually pack the goods while they are um, once they're done with the sale most of the sales you'll see uh, I mean in this case there's an example on the screen there there's 12 items rang up uh, one plastic bag sold um, so obviously the if there was a packer the cashier could be able to carry on with the next sale immediately and not have this delay in between them another thing uh, on the plastic bags is that the, uh, it would be much easier to ring up or uh, give it a, the system a, a quick key for the plastic bags or even put a barcode on the counter somewhere to just simply scan the barcode of the plastic bags. You'll see at a lot of the other retailers the lady would have a, a barcode label on the table which you'll physically pick up and then just scan. That obviously makes it easier. The problem with that concept I think is that um, that little piece of paper gets thrown around and moved around on the counter and eventually when she needs it she's now going to scratch around on the counter and look for it. That just slows down the process. None of our cashiers, uh, sorry customers, wants to stand around and uh, have slow service. We want to be able to be served fast and quickly um, and therefore the faster we can sell to the customer the better the, the movement is. I think if anybody stands in a queue in a business um, and they at least see the, the the queue is moving, they're comfortable and they're positive. But when things start going slowing down and we have to stand and wait and now they've got to call a supervisor, etc., etc., you know, it becomes to, gets to a point where you actually want to just put your bags down and go and say, no, I'll rather come back another day or maybe go to another store for that matter, which is of course not what we want. So that's the one thing, the plastic bags, packing it and so on. That's one big part of it. Uh, in the video you'll see quite often they, they search for products. Now uh, the customer mentioned to me that the labels that uh, is supplied with the product, in other words pre-printed on the product from the supplier is not of good quality. Now they so they can't scan it. Um, now what they have to do then is to go and search for the product. Now in theory again you are now slowing down your process because you want to insist that your supplier supplies you with a, a better quality label well in the process it's hurting your business so if it means that you have to go and print a barcode label and put it on and as I suggested uh, print 100 print 500 I mean you know how many products you're going to be selling in the next week or two don't print one and two and five labels print 500 put it on a little roll put it on a little hook in your uh, pre-packed section where you are preparing the goods let it hang there and as the products come in if immediately put a new label on it and make sure that the label test if it's a frozen product like in a lot of uh, Roy's uh, products um, it obviously would be important to make sure that the the plastic is clear without moisture on and so on so the label can stick uh, so you can make things a little bit faster on that part of it this is almost like the horse races and away they go again for the next uh, next transaction. Um, another thing of course is the uh, the preset tenders. Uh, you'll see that a lot of the customers pay and you'll know in your own business they'll pay by credit card, they'll pay by um, 100 Rand notes, 50 Rand notes, 200 Rand notes. Now Forpos allows you to create um, preset tenders and have buttons on your keyboard that will be assigned to the 100 Rand and the 200 Rand. Now those, so those buttons can be edited in the back office obviously and you can make it all presets um, for 100 Rand, 200 Rand and so on. Now important also uh, that you can 
furthermore go and change your keyboard layout properly now as I said earlier uh, kick and cry has been running the system for just about 10 years now um, and 10 years later they're still using the the default keyboards now again you can say yes but that's what my cashiers are used to but it's always a good idea to at some stage to try and change it and make it better I have a a customer that is uh, quite clever with his business and he's got a simple philosophy of saying got to make one thing better in your business every day now if we can achieve that then it means we've got 365 items or pieces or details better per year which is very clever I think um, so in this case now if you if you look at the screen you will see that the cash sale button is still on F2 and the card is on F3 and the tender button uh, still sitting on F10. Now, in a retail environment, it's uh, quite easy to program the keyboard. Then, to if you look at your one-on-one -on -one keyboard now, you'll see on the one-on-one -on -one keyboard on an American keypad specifically, the what I would normally do, what we would typically do for a retail customer, fast-moving retail customer like this, is to put the buttons for the tender on the minus sign of the numeric keypad. Uh, the plus sign would be the cash button and the slash would be the void slash meaning almost like a sword uh, and it's quite easy for the cashiers to change over yes they'll struggle for 10 minutes 20 minutes and they don't get back to it because they'll press the f2 button and nothing will happen so by changing the keyboard you will also process and make the system a lot faster now coming back to the the searching of, of products you might also want to go and print barcode labels and stick it onto a piece of paper uh, and have it laminated on the counter or even on the screen for that matter somewhere attached to the side of the screen a little piece of paper that all your popular barcodes are on in case you can just take the scan and scan it from there now, obviously that wouldn't work if you're using a vertical scanner but uh, and for that you'll typically have little flip cards or flip charts or pieces of paper that you fold up and use that uh, on the system so by doing a couple of small things on the system, you could actually achieve quite a lot uh, and making the whole process a lot quicker on your system uh, and making your four parts work even faster and better for you. Um, I hope this helps and I hope it gives you a better idea of how four parts uh, can work in your business. Enjoy.